but they listen to the voice of the people. To his supporters, Morgan Richard Tangerai was a man who challenged Zimbabwe's longtime leader, Robert Mugabe, at a time when few people dared to do so. But it was a long and sometimes painful journey. In 1999, Tsangirai, then a trade union leader, formed the opposition party, the Movement for Democratic Change. In the years that followed, he organized protests to try and force Mugabe out of office. He was beaten while in police custody, charged with treason, jailed several times, and labeled a traitor by Mugabe supporters. In the 2008 presidential election, he won the most votes, but not enough to win outright. Before a second round took place, his supporters were targeted in a campaign of violence. The opposition leader pulled out of the presidential race in protest. Regional leaders and the international community intervened. After months of negotiations, Tsangirai was sworn in as prime minister in 2009. It was a temporary power-sharing government, but Mugabe was still the president. Morgan Tsangirai will be remembered fundamentally in the sense that he broke ZANU-PF and Mugabe's political virginity in 2008 when Mugabe for the first time in the history of the state lost the parliamentary election, lost the first presidential uh, runoff and lost the majority of local government elections. And that has not been done since 1980 when we gained our independence. So for that, Morgan Changira would be remembered. Four years later, another election took place. This time, Tsangirai's MDC party lost by a huge margin. His critics said he had ignored the plight of the poor and got caught up in the trappings of wealth and power. Allegations of party infighting and corruption also tarnished his image. Some of his closest allies left, accusing him of being a dictator. But in 2017, the MDC alliance was formed. Those who had left Tsangirai returned, forming a coalition to challenge Mugabe at the polls. There were occasional anti-government protests. Zimbabwe's economy was on its knees. There was a shortage of foreign currency, and the government couldn't pay salaries on time. The military intervened in November 2017 and put Mugabe under house arrest. Tsangirai and Zimbabweans from all political parties marched together in solidarity, saying Mugabe must step down. Eventually, Mugabe resigned and Emerson Manangago was sworn in as president. Despite having cancer, Tsangirai's supporters insisted he was their presidential candidate for the 2018 elections. They were confident he could defeat Manangagwa at the polls, but he never got that chance. Opposition supporters say Tsangirai will be remembered as a brave man, a charismatic public speaker, and a symbol of resistance. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera.